This is Rick with BadMoonRising.com doing a little video on our TP tent prototype. It's the third one we've tried, we've made. That we think we got most of the bugs worked out. Wanted to highlight some of the features that we think separates our TP from others on the market. This is roughly 12 by 12, 12 feet by 12 feet that is, and we've had five, five humans and one dog in our second prototype and worked fine. Wanted to highlight a couple of features. What this has on it, I don't have them all on yet, but we're going to call these the st storm skirts, which unlike other teepees that, as you can see here, just stake right to the ground. If you've got a lot of wind or critters or uneven ground, you potentially have a gap where wind and critters can get in underneath. We've added quarter of nylon, about a foot of it, that as you can see here by the door flap can be buried to seal the tent better on uneven ground or keep the wind out. This one is left unburied. And we also decided to put our door in the panel instead of on a seam so that panel, does, you don't have to worry about that panel being disturbed. Haven't put the cap on yet. Are we using we're going to add a cap this way if you want, wanted to have a fire inside, which we don't recommend an open fire. If you got some way to contain sparks, you could do that and have the TP without the cap, which we have yet to make and install. Or you can, if you got a, if you feel like carrying one, or or invest in a wood stove. We have a stove port that seals up the Velcro. And you run the stove pipe right through here, have your wood stove right inside like a big wall tent. Preliminary estimations is this TP is going to weigh about less than 10 pounds, less if, if you opt to not have the storm skirt put on, or if you want the storm skirt in nylon, the same material as the TP, you can go with that option, which will reduce the weight, but they may wear out faster. My guess is they will. That's why we went with the Cordura. But we wanted to give you a couple options since these will be individually made. Not sure if you can notice, but at the top of the TP where the pole goes in, it's a collapsible aluminum pole, a little less than three quarter inch diameter, Eastern aluminum pole. Collapses into three sections, the longest being, tw or excuse me, four sections, the longest being 26 inches, I believe. Have to double check. There's a ring on the top. So if you're in a wooded area and you want to eliminate the pole, you can use cord and suspend the tent from a tree limb or from a cord running between two trees, some combination. Get out in the woods instead of our yard, we'll have a better video on that. So we'll, we'll be updating as we move along with the development. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post or send us an email. You can reach us at badmoonrising.com. That's with a Z, badmoonrising.com. Thank you.